smart trailers, the Internet of Things, cloud computing, APIs. If this all makes your head swim, we're going to talk about how these technologies come together to help fleet managers efficiently manage all the reams of data that are available to them today. Hi, I'm Deborah Lockridge, Editor-in-Chief of Heavy Duty Trucking, and today on this HGT Leadership Insights episode, we're going to talk about how telematics and data and connectivity are changing how fleet managers work. This episode is sponsored by and produced in partnership with Clarion's Technologies. Before we dig in, remember to follow us on social media and subscribe so you don't miss an episode. Today we're talking to Neda Jidu. She's Executive Vice President of Clarence Technologies and General Manager of Road Writing. Neda, welcome to the HTT Leadership Insights Podcast. Thanks, Deborah. Hope you're having a great day. <laughs> indeed, indeed. So let's start out talking a little bit about smart trailers. That's something I know Road Ready has been involved in for some time, uh, so something you know a lot about. Trucking fleets are now able to get an abundance of data from their trailers, thanks to smart sensors and telematics. Uh, can you just share a few examples, um, and how do you define a smart trailer anyway? How do you define a smart trailer? We have all these smart sensors. We get all that data, to your point earlier, from all these different devices. But why, do, why does it become a smart trailer just because I'm getting data? And My definition of a smart trailer is not just one that sends you data. Smart trailers is a trailer that actually talks to you. It tells you its state of mind. It tells you its state of health. It tells you what it needs and what it, what it has, and then allows the user or the fleet manager to do what they need to do by providing actionable insight from all these smart devices with correlating that data and fusing it together to come up with wisdom that then is communicated to that fleet manager so that they can action it. So for instance, we know that tire pressure or a, a situation when you have tire pressure variants and you reach a point where a tire is had an incident due to bad tire pressure and so on and so forth. At that point in time, you have um, reached a point of where you have if the trailer is attached to a tractor and they're down the road, you have no option but to pull over and get roadside assistance. The converse of that, right, is to actually have the trailer inform the driver or the fleet manager ahead of time that there might be an incident with this tire based on detection of that tire pressure over time and prior to the trailer being connected to that vehicle to be pulled by the tractor to inform the trailer, the, tra uh, the, the fleet manager that they need to actually service the tire so that that trailer is ready to be pulled by a tractor. Yeah, this is something I have heard from fleets for years uh, and it seems to be more and more, but they feel overwhelmed. Fleet managers feel overwhelmed by the amount of data that is available to them, not only from the trailer, but the truck and, and other sources, ELDs, and so much of it's also in real time. What are some ways that you see fleet managers using data sort of throughout their day? So there are many ways to use the data, and, and I couldn't agree more. I, I hear the same feedback from many of our fleet customers that the amount of data that is being processed and provided to the fleet leaves them uh, really strapped for time to go and analyze the data and make sense out of it and actually make it usable. Our goal is to provide only pertinent data to the fleet, meaning not just sending data uh, in gobs, if you would, uh, to their systems, but to actually do the value added analysis of the data and the correlation of the parameters that the data provides so that we really give them exception only data that allows them to take action versus just data for the sake of collecting data and to make sure that when we provide data, 
it is actually precise data that helps them do their job and lessens the load on the fleet operator versus just sending data that then they have to go process, analyze, add to their system and expend more money and the resources in order to make sense out of it and actually use it in their operations. Um, I'll ask you about um, a couple things uh, that we were talking about uh, at ATA recently. Uh, the terms Internet of Things and cloud-based computing, mm-hmm. um, we hear a lot more about that these days. I'm not sure we all understand that aren't in the tech field exactly what those are and why they're so important to this question of managing this data? Thank you for asking that question because it allows us to explain terminology that may be foreign to some of the fleet operations and some fleets have made a lot of progress in that sense and they have uh, pushed the advancement of this technology into uh, the transportation industry. The internet of things and I, I sometimes refer to it affectionately is the internet of everything. What we have seen, you know, with the expansion of the use of the smart devices, even the cell phones and other um, laptops, tablets, and, and, and so on, is that connectivity is reaching to everything, right? Uh, you don't only have your uh, laptop and phone connected, but your appliances are getting connected. Uh, your car is connected. And the consumers more and more are getting Uh, They're becoming participants in the Internet of Things or Internet of Everything. So the Internet of uh, of Things is really to explain that very simply is basically connecting everything so that you can know the cause and the effect of one device's um, state and movement with another device. And then then it allows you to arbitrate the data between the two systems to see how you could improve and and apply some data analytics or artificial intelligence to automate and to optimize a lot of these components and systems. Cloud-based computing and cloud uh, native applications in a very simple terminology and and to, to avoid getting into the geek out session over here, it really is moving from a monolithic application or platform that was built to sit on a hosted solution or to be part of a mainframe application or to be part of a on-premise type functionality to a, a, a platform that is really built to leverage the scalability and the ready services that come with cloud-based computing which allows us to do things that may not be attainable if you are constrained by an on-prem solution or a host co-location solution. The two things combined allows the world of possibility of data and, and management of smart devices and smart systems. And another one, APIs. APIs is really how two platforms or two systems can talk to each other. And it's really nothing more than a data contract that says, I will request this type of data. And then the the receiving system will say, oh, and I have it and I'm gonna send it over to you. And it's a defined format that allows us to send data packets uh, securely and to verify the user that is requesting the data and make sure that we're sending the right data to the right receiver and vice versa. And so um, it's a protocol messaging, a protocol that actually allows platforms and systems to talk to each other and communicate data packets. So if we take the Internet of Things, cloud, APIs, how do those all work together with sensors and smart trailers, all the data coming for trucking companies, for fleet managers, how are those coming together now? And again, what's the vision in the in the future, in the near future, about how this all pulls together and benefits a fleet manager? Yeah, and, and you have to have all of them, right? You know, our systems of the future can't just talk to one device or one platform or use one message protocol. One of the key success factors for any 
uh, future IoT or telematics solution uh, in the space or in any space, not just transportation, but transportation specifically, is to have the ability to integrate as many different devices, platforms, and systems in order for that fleet manager to have a cohesive and uniform experience, preferably in a one single pane of glass, rather than having to go from one portal to the next, to the next, to the next. And the way to achieve that is through taking the devices and ingesting the data in a uniform format into a platform, which is IoT, leveraging cloud components so that you could scale and have access to multiple platforms and multiple systems through APIs so that you could have that free data exchange between all these systems and all these components so that you could we could provide a uh, cohesive data curation for that fleet manager, which then allows them to see it all in a single pane of glass where they can run their operation from. That's ultimately what we would want to strive for. And that is what we actually at Road Ready and Clarions have been, uh, have started the journey to implement with our latest platform as well. So fleet manager you know, might be able to easily get those alerts we were talking about, uh, like with the uh, the tire inflation, but also help with all that data analytics uh, that uh, we were also talking about, you know, having not time to analyze that all on their own. That's right. So that all this would work together, right? Absolutely. And, and what you don't want to do is, you know, as a fleet, right, you want to manage the fleet business. You don't want, we don't want the fleet having to spend all of their resources on the data management and the data curation because then that takes away from their ability to use it we want to make the data available for the fleets to use and to optimize their business increase their revenue and and lower their total cost of ownerships of their assets and ultimately we want to do the heavy lifting of bringing in the technology that does that for the fleet as opposed to the fleet themselves, each fleet individually having to invest to create that. All right, great. Well, thank you so much for those insights, Netta. Uh, That's all we've got time for on this episode of HGT's Leadership Insights. Well, thank you so much, Deborah, for the opportunity to speak to you and to your audience. And I look forward to doing more of these. Thanks for tuning in for this episode of HGT's Leadership Insights. You'll find more episodes on truckinginfo.com, YouTube, or your favorite podcast platform. 